you have to understand and isolate the impact of a crisis independent of price and income changes so for instance if you are if you are a firm you're trying to understand how do I, within this crisis situation when say when my sales are plummeting to what extent should i adjust my prices okay so you know so i have to make a pricing decision and right now it's extremely important because you know things are extremely volatile in stable environments if i make a pricing mistake it's not very it's not very important but in today's environment it's a matter of life and death you better get your pricing right now think of the following right i mean we could have, you know, let's say a category, let's say a durable good or what have you, and let's say it has an elasticity of 1.5, negative 1.5. So the idea here is if the firm drops price by 1%, they should expect a change in sales of 1.5. So now assume that you have a manager running a company and he figures out that this is, you know, a crisis situation, prices need to change. And let's say he decides to drop prices by, say, 5%. Now, what he would expect is that, you know, there should be a change in sales of about 7.5%. But because of consumption smoothing or what have you, what may happen is instead of 7.5%, he will observe an extra increase in sales. And let's see now he sees a 10% increase in sales, where the other 2.5% is coming because of the crisis impact. Okay. Now, what will happen? The manager does the homework and says, geez, you know, I thought it was negative 1.5, it's actually negative 2. And what you'd see is when people think their markets are more price sensitive, what is it that managers do? What is it that firms do? They start competing even more aggressively on prices. And so what you can now have is a situation where the firms all make systematic mistakes and in for the market is a lot more price elastic than it really is. And this can create a price spiral that can go down and realize the next time you drop prices by 5%, because consumers have done the consumption smoothing, you're not going to see that incremental blip in sales. So now what you've managed to do is basically shoot yourself in the foot, A, by inferring price elasticity to be higher than what it is, B, dropping prices where you're not going to see the increase in sales. Your competitor does the same. And that's why in, in a crisis situation, Prices are the easiest thing to change. So companies typically respond by reacting with prices when you have a crisis situation. But what this shows is, in fact, you have to be very, very careful in using prices. You have to figure out what's going on, how are people smoothing the consumption. If it turns out people are smoothing consumption, you're going to see a change in dollars coming into your category, from other categories, presumably. Be careful, because what you're likely to do is overestimate it. And then the other, it works exactly in the opposite direction as well. So pricing is something you have to be very careful of. Don't just look at price elasticity. Don't just look at income elasticity. Understand that there's also a crisis component to sales, and you need to be able to put all of these three things together. If you don't, you can draw the wrong inferences.